So Kenny here, and we're back with another video, and today we're just gonna do some more ladder. Um, before we get started with this video, um, I just want to thank everyone for the support that I've gotten thus far. Like, I, I just want to really let you guys know how much I appreciate y'all, and I just plan on improving my content from here on. So yeah, let's get started and. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and turn on your bell notifications. And let's try to get this video to 75 likes. And yeah, we're just going to be pushing with Ice Bow right now. We're decently high up, so yeah. Mm, we're up against Suffer. I think I've heard of this guy before. He might know me, so... <laughs> Uh, lava first play. Okay. So right here, I'm just gonna leak a little bit, or so I think, just to see if he's gonna play anything else. Okay, so perfect. I lined that perfectly. So yeah. <laughs> so I didn't want to play my Ice Wizard because I felt like he was going to play something else. So I think that's generally a good play against Lava. So right now I'm just going to def straight defend. Because I knew he only had Flying Machine to take care of my Expo. And I might actually tank that Flying Machine. Because I don't want to waste a Tesla. Or an Ice Wizard, so. Just same thing again. I'm just going to probably leak again. And wait for him to spam me. He doesn't have Flying Machine Cycle, though. Which is good. He has Baby Dragon, though. I might just rocket. Yeah, I'm just going to rocket that. Perfect. Like... As long as you play well, I think you should win this. But overall, it can be hard a hard matchup if you don't know what you're doing. But hopefully everyone knows what they're doing after. After today. Okay, I just need my Tesla to come down. Oh my gosh, I didn't even target. Okay, I'm just going to expo in front. Because I really need to take that tower. And I think he's just going to stack and attack. But that's okay because I can just rock it. Um, okay, that was pretty aggressive in my opinion. Ooh, okay, good game. So in my opinion, I think that's this matchup is about a 60-40 maybe for him. So yeah, that was a pretty good showcase. I've been getting better at matchups lately, so hopefully this can really improve the content. Okay, I'm not gonna... Oh, wow. I don't... <sighs> yeah, I didn't have rocket in cycle. So I couldn't, like, rocket NATO. <laughs> what? I, I know you guys are seeing this, too. Okay, this is this is just weird. Super weird. I'm probably just going to expo Tesla at the bridge. I mean Tesla expo at the bridge. Just because I feel like he doesn't really have a good answer. 
But then again, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just going to log that to kind of kill the Dark Prince. And let's see what he has for this expo in Tesla. Okay, it seems like he has nothing. Ooh, that XC. Okay, so he has Mirror, 3M. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a, such an annoying matchup. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to Ice Wizard just to force something out because that's his low tower and he doesn't really want... I don't, well, I don't think he wants to... Yeah, so this is what I like doing against 3M. Maybe I didn't need that rocket. He could Hog Rider. He's probably going to mirror that, I think. So I'm going to get my skeletons ready to kind of push the Hog Rider to my Tesla. He's probably going to wait till my Tesla has run out of life. Yeah, I assume so. So that's a good micro trick. You can use any troop to kind of push the hog rider towards your building. And I assume he's going to use 3M again. Oh my gosh. I don't want that XC connect. I have to play defense. That Ice Wizard is going to really help out. And I think I won. Yeah. Well, I don't. This is not spell range, but I'm just trying to cycle as quickly as possible. Just need one more spell and I win. Ooh. Okay, good thing Tornado's instant. Okay, good game. So, pretty good game so far. Alright, let's keep going. Let's give him the good luck. So, I, I always like waiting before I... um use like skeletons or something unless I'm like really tilted oh this looks like prince bait I didn't really want to use my log right there because prince bait they they have so many options whoa actually this isn't prince bait Okay, okay. This is the Mega Knight um, RG deck. <sighs> I'm going to have to NATO that princess in. Wow. <sighs> I can't use my knight because he has Mega Knight. So I have to defensive expo. And you really don't want to use your knight when um, Mega Knight's in cycle. Because you just have more trouble defending. And I've just lost tons and tons of games like that, so... I don't recommend you guys doing it. Okay, he might princess of the bridge, but it's fine. I'm not going to do a crazy prediction. There's literally no... Well, there's a there's a point in pre doing a prediction, but like... At what cost? You lose the... Okay, I misclicked right there. That was supposed to be a knight. And that just cost me the game. <laughs> This isn't a hard matchup at all. But if you don't know what you're playing at the start, you can easily lose.
Yeah, that's a juke. That was so far off. And I could just NATO that roll giant. <laughs> He's BMing like he did something. Like, I obviously misclicked the knight. I wouldn't have tried to tornado that because I, I obviously knew it was on the side, so... Just give him the good luck. This clan is full of good players, so this guy might be good. <sighs> hmm. Sorry. We gotta start off with skeletons. He's he's not making the play, so I gotta start off with some. I feel like he might have lava, man. It's just, it's really bothering me how he, he's not doing anything right now. So I might actually wait it out a little bit. Because I don't want to cycle an ice wizard and then he golems in the back or lava's in the back. That's just, that's just not the ideal play. You know what? Let's, let's just do it. Let's just do it. We'll see what happens. Okay, I feel like he might have Golem or E-Giant. Not many people run Ice Bow, so... This might be Pekaloon Freeze. So that was part of the reason why he might have waited. What I could do right now is cycle a knight in the back. So that's what I'm going to do now. Because I don't want to waste the Tesla. And that's great rocket value. Okay, he has Ice Wizard and Cycle. So he's probably going to use that. But he's going to be low on Elixir. So I could probably Expo Tesla. Yeah, and he doesn't have Balloon and Cycle, so... <laughs> my clan mates I mean I don't blame them that what I just did look skillless in my opinion but you can do plays like that if you if you um get better at memorizing their whole cycle he's probably gonna balloon okay so no So I have a huge matchup, if you guys are wondering. Like, I've even beat Anaban in this matchup, so. This this matchup is actually impossible for him unless I mess up. If you guys want to see me battle Anaban, um, it's in one of my old vid videos. I can link it below. Gonna rocket that. Just wanna be patient and spend elixir wisely. I want you guys to like take notice on how I spend my elixir. Uh I meant to play skeletons, that's fine. I'm only playing elixir when I need it. And what I like doing against tanky troops is when I know they have Balloon, I like playing my Tesla on the side of the troop. 
because they usually play their um balloon behind the tanky troop and you can just rock it on the other side without worrying about overspending so it's always nice Yeah, so GG. I I kind of feel bad. I have almost full HP towers. Well, at least I'm not BMing because I'm not like that. It's getting the good luck. I'm probably going to do like maybe three more matches. Um, I still don't really want to do anything. I guess I can knight in the back. I really like keeping my ice wizard. So that's, that's why I didn't play that instead. I mean, a lot of people do play their ice wizard like Ram and Taft. But... Oh my gosh, that completely cleared it off. I feel like he has Mega Knight. I really wish that activated King. Mega Knight or Royal Giant? Or this could be some kind of Earthquake deck. I've seen a lot of giant skeleton lately. I don't want to play my expo without knowing what he has. Because if I went RG right... I mean, if I went expo right there, he could have RG'd if he had it. And I would have lost the game right then and there. So, not the most optimal play. That's an easy king activation right there. Okay, I'm going to place my expo I mean my Tesla in the middle and see what he does. Earthquake, of course. Um so it has to be RG. There's there's I don't think there's any other combination. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's RG. I got to make sure that expo is kind of dead because I misplaced it and he could easily um, earthquake that expo. So kind of glad it died. I'm supposed to place it here. Yeah, look how they buffed EQ and I'm not, I'm really not a fan of the buffed EQ, but Ice spell still works. I, I'm not sure about 3.0. I mean, it still might work, but against Earthquake decks, it's probably going to be annoying. I'm going to actually rock it right here because... If that hunter dies by my Tesla, I get value. Yeah. Perfect. I could just log that right there. Yeah, this is a great match so far. I it just feels so healthy that I can't get um out spell cycled by an earthquake. It just feels nice.
And since he uses Earthquake, I can just Tesla in the middle. And I'm just going to rock it because, you know, I need to be up in damage. I'm actually going to Tesla right here. Ooh. Okay, I just need to make sure no no RGs pass by and I should be good. And GG. All right, so this is a pretty good video so far. I've just been grinding, guys. Um, I really need lightnings. I think two more matches. Let's give him the good luck. <laughs> Golem in the back first play. Um, so what we're gonna do? We're just gonna knight in the back. I'm just gonna ice wizard, and I'm probably just gonna Tesla right here. Actually, yeah, that was a better Tesla choice. Okay, so his golem and lightning is out of cycle. So what I can probably do is just expo. Oh, he has cannon cart too. And lightning. Okay, this is going to be a tough matchup. Usually when they have cannon cart, they don't have lightning. So the matchup is kind of balanced. But now he has cannon cart and lightning. Yo, this is... This is actually troubling. Um, so I'm going to test the low. I can't really use that placement again. Not until he really starts using like golems in the middle. So he might NATO my ice wizard. Okay, I try to predict the NATO. I'm just gonna ice wizard that mega minion. And we're down in elixir, guys. Um can I do can I do I have to just swallow up with the knight and yeah, I'm just gonna use the placement. There's really nothing else I could really do right here. I just have to stall and hope for the best. He's gonna have to probably lightning. Yeah, I thought so. And that's over that's an overcommitment, so I can go in and I predicted his cannon cart. Okay, so this is perfect. Oh my gosh. So yeah, guys, like I said, I've been improving. And yeah. He's low on elixir, so he might defend that side. So I'm just going to go this lane. And yeah, I think that's over. That's GG. Good game. <sighs> Dang, I, didn't, I did not expect to win that. I'm, I'm just going to be honest. But that was a great, great showcase.
think this is gonna be the last one. Oh shoot. I think I know this guy. Uh, yeah, yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna ignore that miner. And he's low on elixir, so he has the bomb tower. And I might just take his tower right here. Yeah, I think he just lost. Oh, no. Actually, no. Dang. <sighs> okay, what he's going to do is he's probably just going to minor bats. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to push him again. He has no night in cycle, so he has the bomb tower. Okay, he did it. He did have night in cycle. That's okay. And I think we break through right here. Okay, that's that's actually amazing. That's that's literally amazing, guys. Oh, he gave up. Dang. Good game. Dang. Okay, so let's three crown him and I just have no words, guys. Like, I just feel like I've been playing really good. I'm tempted to play one more. But I could just call this a video. Because we did do pretty good. Dang. Hopefully I get a magic archer. Okay. Bandit's still good too. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to play one more, guys. Like, we're on a roll, so. um, So, I'm technically up an elixir from that exchange. So, I could basically just go in with Expo. Yeah, and have the Tesla right here. Yeah, I was laying on that catch, but that's fine. This looks this is looking like Mega Knight Bait. See what he chooses to do. Oh, that Tesla worked against me. That's okay though. Um, I can't really go in because he has Inferno Dragon. And that's gonna give him a plus two trade. And more so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set up an ice wizard in the back like this and using his miner to kind of stall therefore giving me more elixir and allowing me to maybe go in so that's a neat trick I learned so hopefully you guys can apply it to your own gameplay okay you, you guys see how much value that inferno dragon got that's part of the reason why I didn't want to go in. Whoa, that Mega Knight, that Mega Knight. <laughs> yeah. That's it's it's whatever. I can't I can't really Yeah, it's a GG. <laughs> Well, that was a flop, but it's whatever. This is still a good video, in my opinion. Hopefully, you guys can take away a lot from this, and yeah. Um, Don't forget to like and subscribe.